Hi, I'm here with Pohong, one of the developers for Perspective. What can you tell us about Perspective? It's very unique. Okay, so Perspective is a first-person puzzle game where you control two characters. The first character you control, uh, can you see the screen there? Yes. Uh, is uh, the blue guy, is a 2D avatar, and he can only move in 2D space. And the second control character that you control is a first-person camera that moves like a normal first-person shooter. And the idea is that you can switch between these two characters and modes of control by doing a left click. And you, for the 2D avatar, what you see is what you get. So the first-person camera, what it sees, is what makes up the world for the 2D character to navigate. That sounds like something that would drive people crazy while they were trying to build it. Yes. How did you not go crazy building something that's so not from this world? Uh, it's actually not that bizarre if you think about it. <laughs> so as a kid, sometimes what people will do on long road trips is like they'll be on a hillside, like sort of jumping up, like, oh, I'm jumping across this pole on, on this hillside. Or if you're just like bored in your room, like you'll, you'll like jump around, jump around like furniture and stuff. Like some people do that. I did that as a kid. I don't know if that makes me weird. No, I totally did it too. Yeah, so, so I think there's a connection there that people sort of feel, right? And I think a lot of games are really interesting when it brings back those, those sort of childhood memories. Awesome. What tools did you use to develop it? So uh, Perspective was actually made in C++ and DirectX, so we built all of our technology from the ground up. Yeah, so it, this whole thing took us about 18 months to build. A lot of it was just iteration on how we can get the specifics of the technology to work. Because, I mean, Unity is great, but for, for a mechanic this unique, it's, it's really difficult to be like, import this strange mechanic thing that no one's ever done before package, yeah. right? So, I can see how that'd be hard. Yeah. What can you tell us about the visuals? It has a pretty unique style going as well. Where'd you get inspiration for the style? Okay, so uh, this this world here actually is uh, is based on like old arcades. The idea is sort of, is sort of like it's a cheesy arcade, like cheesy carpets and space walls. Uh, the theme of the game is that you're actually going between different games that you're playing. So the, the 2D avatar is like a, a, a character from a video game, and you're bringing him to different arcade machines and, and sort of unlocking those levels. How did you get into developing games in the first place? How did you do that? Okay, so uh, this is actually a student game. Uh, we're students from DigiPen, and th this was a project that we did for school. So, DigiPen students, find other students, make some amazing games that break your mind. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the greatest thing about DigiPen is just people aren't there because they feel like they should, right? The problem with a lot of other big universities, like Ivy League schools in particular, is that people go, it's like, oh, I, I go to Harvard because my parents go to Harvard or whatever. Not that I'm smart enough to get into Harvard, but maybe, maybe that's just my way of, of being passive aggressive. But the thing about DigiPen is people go there because they want to be there, right? They're passionate about what they want to do. And if they're not, they drop out pretty fast, right? Because it's like, they, they, they don't feel obligated to be there. And a lot of people go there against their parents, which is like, oh, video game school, like, what are you gonna do with your life, right? Uh, but, but the great thing about DigiPen is that you find a lot of really passionate people who want to pour their hearts and souls into what you're making. Awesome. Um, what, can you tell us what is your favorite game when you were a kid growing up? Uh, when I what? When you were growing up, what was your favorite oh, game? when I was growing up. Okay, I played a lot of Counter-Strike. Uh, when I was growing up, I was more of like a competitive gamer, even though I didn't, never really got that great. Uh, when I got to school, I started looking at more interesting games. Like I started getting into more indie scene. Like I, I just stopped having time to pour into a game. Like League of Legends was interesting, right? And it's a lot of fun. A lot of people like it, but I just don't have the time to become good at League of Legends, exactly. right? So right now, what I'm looking at is just small experiences that I can look at and be like, oh, this is really interesting, right? And not necessarily something competitive. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Bohung. Yeah, um, no problem. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Oh, is there a release date for it? Uh, it's actually already out. We have a website. It's called uh, seawithperspective.com. You can download it for free. It's on the PC. Awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah.